Hello everybody and welcome back to Just Lucky. Today I realized something. I think that in our satisfactory world we have hit a place where I realized that we've been building basically like the minimum amount of stuff. Like for example we have a factory and like one storage container for everything that we can make, right? Uh, because we have we had a lot of like power uh, constrictions. Like for example now we have 1800 megawatts and we're using like a quarter of it basically and we don't have those power constraints as much and i think that is gonna allow us to start building like a lot crazier bigger stuff and i want to do that because obviously that would be a lot of fun and then we won't be limited by just the production of like one thing at a time like oh say oh we really needed some more modular frames we wouldn't have to just rely on these two, three, whatever machines to like be making them. We could have like several machines making them, right? And then we get them really fast so that we always have as many as we need no matter what. Or like, for example, say, oh, we have um, Mark II conveyors, but we only have like a limited amount of reinforced iron plates. We could have more machines making them and then we'd have an infinite amount and we could always use Mark II plates, always. So what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be working on larger projects uh in satisfactory of course i don't know why i said that it's kind of weird but i think to do that it's gonna take a lot of time and so i'm gonna be editing these videos a little bit more and i want to make sure that they make sense or i'm gonna make sure they make sense but also a lot of things are gonna probably be rebuilt i know we did a rebuilding uh thing like a little bit ago where we rebuilt this whole thing that used to be spaghetti and we built like a project, a small production line, like one machine each for each item, which I think is good. But I think as we progress, we're just going to have to, I think that's like part of the nature of this game is just rebuilding stuff and improving it. So today, what we're going to be doing is rebuilding our iron factory again. And I know it sounds weird because we like recently did that, but we need more iron and that's just the way it is. But I am prepared to make a much bigger jump this time. This time, we could make this iron factory in a way that we could leave it, like, the same way, like, permanently, probably. What I want to do is gather, uh, or put Mark II miners under here. So we're getting, like, double the amount of, uh, stuff. Also, I learned about the like quality of nodes and how that affects uh, buildings, which is really good uh, to have that information. And I'm also going to get all the iron nodes in like this area, like completely in this area. I found like 10 and I'm really excited about it. And so we're going to have to redo all of this now that we have power for that. And um, we're going to have to redo all of this. Mostly, I think. And... Uh, then we'll have like way more iron stuff. We can produce stuff so much faster. We'll be able to have like, oh, say we need lots of reinforced plates. We'll just have like five assemblers making them. Who cares? We have tons of power right now. Anyways, so the first step, uh, the first thing we got to do. Oh, look, it's our, tra our tractor. The first thing we're going to end up doing is going around. And we're not going to use trucks for the. We are going to go ahead and just use conveyor belts. Uh, even though they're very far, it's just whatever. We are going to go ahead and build those. We have everything we need right here. All we have to do is uh, put away everything that we're not going to use, which is mostly everything. We'll take our Xeno Basher. We'll keep our beacons. Is that beacons? We'll take our chainsaw. We'll take our biofuel for a chainsaw. And steel pipes. Do we need why why do we have steel pipes? I can't remember. Uh maybe there was a reason for that. I don't know. But then we need to take all of this, which we can't carry all of it. Um So we're gonna take some of these. We can't take all of it though, because we need to have room for um other stuff. We can see about upgrading all of the conveyor belts to tier two or three later, but for now, we're just gonna take a bunch of these. And there was one other thing we needed, cable. We're gonna need to 
power everything up, but we could always do that as we go. So, first things first, we are gonna go around the map and get all of these miners set up. Starting with the ones with the awesome sink. The awesome sink is over here. We might have a ticket. I don't actually know. I'm gonna guess we don't. Oh, we do. Fantastic. Thank you for the ticket. Then we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna get rid of all these. Also, having a lot more iron production, or like just iron from uh, things in general, is going to be so helpful because we'll be able to have uh, more iron for steel, more iron for building iron stuff. Hello, moth. And uh, I don't know. I'm just really excited about it. Well, you can edit these? Whoa. I didn't know that. So, here we go. We're going to put Mark 2 on here. We don't know which way we want all of the iron to flow around, so we're just going to point them out for now. These all seem like they're pointing the same direction. I think what I want to do is tear this down. I want to tear all of this down. And then go from there. Uh, how do we tear down multiple things again? Ooh, that was so satisfying sounding. So, but we don't want to get rid of the floor. We want to get rid of everything except for the floor. I'm going to go ahead and be right back while I do this, and then when I have this done completely, I will be back. Because this is going to take a little bit of time. Alright, as you can see, I basically... Oh wait, there's walls over there still. Okay, you can't really see, but that entire platform is cleared off. And I started clearing out the um, bottom part, but there's tons of stuff. Uh in my inventory from uh, having to do that. So I went ahead and made an awesome sink connected to this and then we get awesome points and, and we can get rid of stuff in our inventory. It's fantastic. Why does it say no power? Now we gotta go work on picking up all the rest of the stuff. There's not very much left. If I remember right, there's just a few boxes like this one. Wait, that's for our steel production. I kind of don't want to delete that right now. There's this box. Okay, let's go put this in the awesome sink stuff. And then we will start getting the uh, miner set up and figure out how we're going to do the conveyor belts. All right, I fixed up the floor. Was, there's a bunch of holes in it and stuff like that, but now you can see that it's perfectly flat. We made the platform a little bit bigger also. Uh, we're trying. I'm trying to figure out how I want all of the iron from around the world to come in here. I think we want to have like a wall like, um, like this uh, with a conveyor wall with three holes. And we want it to like come through this side up there probably. Or maybe on the side. I'm not really sure. Uh, I could imagine this building kind of overhanging over here and then another building. Or like maybe this could be the same building eventually even though it's built at a different angle. I'm not sure how that works. I think it could be really cool. But um, we're figuring that out. But we can... Oh yeah. So for example. Wait this is really bad. While this is down we're not making more reinforced uh, iron plates. And that's all we needed to do. 
so that we could have more Mark II things. So we're going to have to have a temporary fix for that. So for now, what we're going to do is get our Mark II miners and place them down. I think we want them all to face this way. I know it's kind of odd, but it'll make sense. Hopefully. Okay, this one can't face that way because of uh, a wall. So it's going to be facing this way. This should be at 60. Oh, is it because it's impure? So th these are 60 each. Oh, we'll have to consider that when we're getting iron from like across the world. Okay, I think what we're going to have to do really fast is... Hmm. Why is this like this? That looks really odd. Oh, usually this part's in the ground. That's that is really weird. Okay, for the sake of just making sure we can still make reinforced iron plates because we need so many of them. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to take this Where's reinforced plates? Basically, I'm just going to just put only iron into reinforced plates. This is reinforced plates. I know because I put a storage behind it. So... I believe it's this one. Which would be here. We're going to disconnect this for now. Make sure we're only making reinforced planes. And then we're gonna... It can't go this way, so that's fine. Basically, we're just gonna put a smelter in front of this one, and then, um... And then call it good. We just have to make sure we're making reinforced plates. Or we'll never get done with this. Um, iron ingots, please. Should be as easy as that. There we go. Oh, we should be making, we should have two smelters. Why can't I build a second one? I know this is just a temporary line, but it's, it's still annoying to me if it's not like uh, put together very well. Then we just need a splitter. Logistics. We go in here. We need to hook this one up. Make iron. Wait, then we need a merger. That should be fine though. Why isn't this one making anything? Huh? What? No pow. Oh, I moved it. There we go.
Perfect. And then it should only be making reinforced plates, which is fantastic. Okay. So, for the rest of these, I will give you an example of how I was thinking these could go up into the top level. First, we have to place our wall. Do we have cement? Yes, we do. Okay. I'm so glad we got these from the awesome sink. Because they are going to be a lifesaver right now. So which side is the better side for the outside? I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, let's look at this really quick. What side looks better? Because we'll be looking at it from the outside more. Yeah, I think we made the right choice. So now we're going to want to build these across this side of our building. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put six of these. Because who knows how big this building is going to end up being. But I know there's at least um, this many nodes of like iron nodes, which should be 15. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sure there's 18 iron nodes out there, and we'll bring them all to here as we find them or something. Wall conveyor for one. Okay. That's good. That's good. So now we're going to want to go back down and line up these conveyor, I mean these miners. Wait, do we have all four? So because these are only making 60 each, we can actually use tier one and it won't matter. Because tier one can move 60 things at a time. So right now I'm just getting conveyor belts coming out of these. Wait, I believe all these are impure nodes. Right? 60. Is this one impure also? Yeah. How much cement do we have? Perfect. So now we're going to want normal walls. I wish we could like build fast. Like build an entire wall of walls. Also, I'm not sure what color we should make our factories because uh, now that we have the painter brush thing, I mean the painting gun, we can uh, color these whatever we want. I'm thinking the light blue that we made that um, space elevator. Let me know in the comments what color things should be. And I will, I will color it that color. Wait, can I put this wall all the way down here? Or is stuff going to get in the way? Okay, those are going to get in the way for now, but they won't always be there. So it's not that big of a deal. Oh, building like this is faster. I still want the, the this outer wall to be completely glass, but I have to unlock glass first. I'm pretty sure that's possible, or at least have like a lot of windows. Okay, so these are going to be our first, first four miners over here. So what we're going to want is we're going to need um, logistics. I don't know why I was doing it like that. We're going to need... The oh, wait, how do I connect the top one? Oh wait, it doesn't matter. 
Okay, we're going to actually put walls here so that we can organize this better. Wait, we only need four in here. Wait, I think it's fine if we only need four, but... Wait, can we choose? Hmm. I wish we could put... I wish that we could put... That might be usable. No, it's not. I wish we could use the wall with just one, but then put the one all the way to the right. Because this one's going to line up with the middle one, and we don't want that. Let's see here. We will use three, I guess. It's going to be a little weird, but whatever. So what we're going to want to do here is go to logistics and grab our Mark 1s because it's only moving 60 per second anyways. I mean 60 per minute, not 60 per second. That'd be, that'd be something else. Um, this one can be number two, I guess. Wait, why is it not snapping to this? I'm confused. Wait, it'll snap to that one? Oh, is it because this is here? Oh my goodness. It was. Okay. It's okay. We are learning all the time. And that's what matters. I'm guessing that's right. Hopefully it is. And then this one can go to here. It's fine if these are a little messy under here for now. What did I just delete? So this one is going to be a placeholder for this fourth one here because we need this fourth one to keep doing what it's doing. So let's go check on the top and see how that's going to be looking. Okay, so these four are 60 each. So we have to remember that. I wish there was like signs you could write on in-game, but that's fine. 
So now I guess our next goal is to go ahead and run around the map and put down miners on all of the other nodes. So we should go we should go get to that. Not all of the other ones, but ones where that we know where they are. We have a beacon on some way over there. And we have those two right there. Even though those are for steel production, we're gonna replace those two. So let's go ahead and get started on that. I wonder if we can just replace our, the miners without uh, taking them off the ground. We can. Oh yeah, this one's impure too. So many impure ones, but 60 is definitely better than 30. We know that for sure. But then this is going to have to be a mark to uh, conveyor belt or it won't make any sense. We'll, we'll get to replacing everything. Don't worry. Do we have enough to replace it now? Um... I honestly think this will be worth it. I haven't I feel like I haven't seen our truck in a long time. So far this is like over a hundred um over a hundred reinforced plates, which is a little bit cringe. So these should come zooming down here now. Where's our truck? I mean our tractor. Also this should fill up really fast now. Great, perfect. I just feel like we haven't seen our truck in a while. So I hope it's okay. We go through our hypertube really fast and just see if we can spot it. No truck over here. I think our truck broke. I legitimately can't remember the last time I saw it. I think the last time we saw it is when we were over here. It, it, it drove by. Is that our truck? No, it's a tree. Did the aliens steal our tractor? I don't understand. Like, what else could have happened to it? Oh, we ran out of fuel. Um... Can we, we need our chainsaw and cut down a couple trees really fast. Make some 
make some biomass and give it to a biofuel, biomass, I forgot what it's called. And it should get it back to the other station. So many little problems to solve while we try and solve our big problem. But you know what? I think that's just part of the game. Oh wait, this is bad. Uh, we're gonna have to drive it. Disable autopilot. We're gonna have to drive it to the next place and then take the fuel out, or it won't pick up. Uh, it won't pick up coal. So I guess let's go do that really fast. It's like a side adventure. But it's just something we gotta do to make sure everything runs smoothly. But I'm, don't tell the tractor, but I am getting rid of tractor soon. I'm just going to use conveyor belts. For now. So now we can put it back on autopilot, now that it has the right fuel. And we should be good to go. Now we gotta go get more portable miners and we will start putting Mark II miners on more nodes. I think we had enough stuff ready for about 15. And I think we've placed about 9? So we can get a lot more iron already. We're really only gonna be limited by the amount of iron we can move on conveyor belts. But we'll just have a bunch of conveyor belts next to each other, it's not a big deal. I don't care about that. As long as they're all neat. Now we're gonna throw this in here. Throw these in here. Throw that in there. Okay, let's go grab more of the wait, what's in here? Um, we don't need that many. I think. Oh, we actually need like 10. I think the next place we're going has five notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're, we have plenty. They are... Right over here. I don't think they're too far away. I think building all the um, the conveyor belts are going to be the real challenge. But I'm sure we'll get over it. We'll probably build them on foundations to keep them all nice and straight. And I think it'll be fine. There's actually a ton of iron around here. The hardest part is just moving it all. Is this more iron right here? Oh no, that's nothing. Okay. We got some lag there from the autosave. Um, minor mark, minor mark 2. And then there's three or four over here. I can't remember. One. Two. Three and four. So we just have to break these off and then we'll be ready to place more miners. Pretty exciting if you ask me. Oh wait, we can actually see all of our stuff from here. It's really not that far. Like that right there is our steel plant. Oh wait, there's one we didn't break. Am I trolling?
two, three, and there's one more way over there, four. And these, one of these might actually be normal. Impure, 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 impure. Let's go check these other two over here really fast. Impure and impure. Okay, that's easy. Because now we're going to just use a ton of Mark 1 conveyor belts, and it's not a problem. Well, excuse me. So I think the way we want to do this is definitely on foundations. Uh, six conveyor belts is probably too wide. Not too wide, but like too wide, if that makes sense. Like it's not too wide. Okay, I meant T-O-O, -O, not T-W-O. So we'll actually probably just use walls for our guides to keep everything straight. And honestly, I think that's a pretty good plan. We'll just keep it on foundations and we'll keep using walls. Wait, why are those walls those different ones? I hated that. Um, We'll put this on five because we're going to be using this a lot. Okay, so we actually have a lot of building to do. We have to get basically foundations all lined up and ready to go way over there. And I have to think about it a lot because, sorry, I have the hiccups. Um, that's not good. I have to think about how I want to do this while I build it because I don't have any plans. So I'm going to build out some of it and I will be right back. Uh, to show you what I've done and what my plans are after I figure them out. So I think I found the design that works really well. So I have these four miners over here and these two over here. So I decided to go ahead and use these walls as guides. And uh, I think I might just do this all the way back to the base because it's not really that far. And uh, this is working out pretty well so far. These are all just 60 lines because each of these... Uh, each of these miners make 60 per minute, so it works out really well. And then I, I also found out that there was two more 60s, or impure nodes is what I should say, up here. Because I was looking around, and uh, I want to connect those at some point, but I don't have the materials to make the miners right now. But I just wanted to show you my progress, and then... Uh, I guess I just gotta keep working at it. It's probably gonna take a long time to be honest because even though it's not crazy far, it's not very close either. It's actually very, very far. But not that far. I'm not sure. I think we'll what we'll do is we'll have this like ramp upward and then we can just turn it in the sky and we won't have to avoid all of these uh, other things. But probably not that far. We'll figure it out. So it started to dawn on me how big this project is actually gonna be. And uh, I realized how much iron, like how many iron nodes I really have found already. And I'm going to, I think the easiest way to do it is just to build a bridge, a conveyor like bridge all the way across to here where the hill is. And then just like go toward like, like have this bridge go toward all of the iron nodes in the area and just bring them back to here. And then we can start building uh, the smeltery basically. I think that'll be the easiest way to do this uh, because I'm realizing how much work this is going to be and how much time this will probably take. And it's not a bad thing, it's just something I realized. Because I feel like I've been doing this for a while already. And uh... 
I have like what, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, at least iron nodes out there that need it to have homes. That's a lot of work. Oh my god, I can't believe I built that way down there. I didn't even know I could build that far. But like, don't get me wrong, I love building stuff in this game so much. Uh, just like, I've always liked building like farm, like huge farms and stuff in like Minecraft, for example. I feel like it's very similar to that. It's very uh, time consuming, but very like satisfying. But yep, I'm gonna keep on working at this and I will catch up with you soon. So I was building, oh my voice cracked, that was embarrassing. So I was building this out, the foundations, that's our iron smeltery factory over there. And then I believe that little orange speck where my crosshair is, is the six, seven, eight nodes that we were at for. So we just have to get this all over to there and then also find a way to get these three. Um, for some reason we can only see one. Um, these three miners connected up here too. So that, that's going to be the goal. Alright, so I'm not quite sure of all the details yet, but I ended up getting the foundation all the way from the iron factory. Wow, my voice keeps cracking today. All the way from the uh, iron factory all the way to our nodes on the very far side where we had six of them where we started and now i'm my goal my next goal is to get them all as f well i was gonna say as far back as possible but really just all the way back it looks like the wall is gonna be to be right here Just now I was doing that to try and figure out how far conveyor belts can go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like 48 meters, which is pr a pretty good length. And then every time we had to put a wall, we basically just have to reconnect all of these conveyor belts. And it's really as easy as that. And I just basically have to do this until I make it all the way back with all of these conveyor belts full of iron. And we can go from there. Okay, so we finally got our conveyor belts all the way back to our iron factory area. That took a long time. But we did it, and we're finally about to connect our first belts that are going to make it all the way to the factory. I'm pretty excited for that. We do have quite a few more to bring all the way back here. But we might not worry about those right now. It just depends on how things feel. Is the iron really that far away? Okay, we're good. Okay, so. We are going to need two smelters per 60 line of iron. And then we can have a Mark II belt carrying out four smelteries so that's so we want to separate everything by two so one two three four five six seven eight nine even right now we're going to need 18 smelters which is so many i think what we want to do is up group them by two i think that's going to be the best thing we can possibly do and we can route around them as we go Two hours later. All right. After a lot of trying things, I, I think I figured out the design that I'm going to be using for this entire build. Um, so each of these is a Mark One uh, conveyor belt, moving 60 per minute, 60 iron per minute, and then I have two of these underneath here. You can't really see it, but they're merging into Mark Twos. So they can move 120 at a time. I'm trying to get up here. I don't have a good way to get up here right now. And then those Mark II belts are going... 
and feeding three, sorry, not three, four smelters each. So right now I only have two set up just to be able to show you. And this is what I'm going to be doing. So right now this is four Mark One lines over there. And it turns into this. So as you can see, we don't really have enough room to probably have like a crazy amount of them. So we might have to build another floor after we run out of space. But for now, I think this is a really solid design and I don't think we're going to have a problem with this. And if we do, we'll probably just try and fix it instead of trying to find a new design. Because I really like this. I think it looks really clean. And it looks like it'll work great. I'm uh, pretty sure it will. But I think this is going to be the end of this video. This project is going to be two videos for sure. Trying to work on a project for a long time and then editing a everything down into a video is a lot of work and i want to make sure to be able to still have daily uploads so large projects like this are gonna have to be um multiple parts and i hope that's okay with you anyways thank you so much for watching this video i had so much fun deciding that i want to start making bigger project on this because now that i have more stuff unlocked is probably the best idea i've had so far in satisfactory and i can't wait to see what we can accomplish and i'm really excited for it so I will see you in the next video, part two of making this monstrosity what I finally want it to be, or finally into what I want it to be, and see you then.